So, this was not going to be the original plan, but I had another game in this slot and it turned out to be really gross. So, but I just randomly found this one on itch.io. It's pretty well reviewed, so about 30 minutes long. I actually know if it has multiple endings. I probably should have checked that. But anyway, it's apparently very Lovecraftian based. So cosmic horror adventure is what it was categorized as. So, uh oh, did I break it? Oh, never, never mind. Warning, this game contains flashing lights. Oh. Okay. <laughs> okay. Oh. You have actual video video footage. Okay. Oh my goodness. Decommissioned agent in order to receive payment. Three research stations shown on the map must be decommissioned and the associated research materials such as tapes must be recovered. Additional payment will be given for any other materials recovered beyond this point. I don't know what the rest said. Well, it looks cool. Northeast Scotland, 1983. Um, okay. Oh. Uh-oh. Oh, this is a weird control scheme. Okay. Escape or P to pause. Alright. Tab for inventory. Map and objectives. So, actually, I don't need my mouse for this at all. I can just do it like this. Oh my goodness. Okay. <laughs> I don't. I don't know if I believe the this game is a thirty-minute-long game thing. Dear co decommissioning engineer, you will have been made aware of your task here to retrieve all research materials and decommission all research stations. It would be advisable for you to first head to the cabin on the right and see if the researchers left anything behind there. Check the blackboard. They often scroll down plans, etc. on there. Good luck. The Institute for Divergent Sciences. Okay. So we're just looking for stuff. Uh-oh. Oh. Okay. Okay. Oh, it's like... It's like Silent Hill. 1979, Black Rock Drilling Company begins drilling in the area. 1980, first drill to reach 1200 meters, begins encountering anomalies, lights emitting from the boreholes, and infrasonic sound. 1981, Black Rock abandons the site. Several workers stay behind, enchanted by the phenomena emitting from the boreholes. They set up camp under the name The Order of the Void. That's, that's perfectly normal. 1983, researchers from the Institute for Divergent Sciences had to investigate the site. 1983, again. After three months, contact with the researchers is lost. Okay. Spooky. Update map with last logged approximate crew locations. Sure. Map updated in the bookcase. You pick up a dusty novel, The Seeker of the Serpent's Eye by Lenora Tor. I hope I said that right. Under the crimson primordial sky, surrounded by the jagged black rocks of the ancient volcanic mountain, the wretched warlock reached into the dark embrace of the fissure until his hand touched a smooth, glassy surface. Cold as ice, his fist closed around the serpent's eye. Slowly he withdrew it and held it before him in the fading light of the blood-red suns. It glowed from within, a ghostly emerald light, strange and eternal. Okay. 
Does that have any relevance to what we're doing? If so, that's kind of unsettling. Urgent. FAO decommissioning engineers, what you've been asked to do here is far more complex than it will have been conveyed to you by the Institute. You must take great caution. What we have been studying here is unprecedented. I cannot say any more. What I can say is H3. Take a lighter. Okay. Ooh. Oh my. I think how much I've played tank control games is starting to show. <laughs> Excerpt from anim animalistic and anomalistic. There we go. <laughs> Human behavior during drilling in the northeast of Scotland by Lena Stragatsky. Yes, it's definitely how you pronounce that. Set up in the cabin and are heading out to the old research station tomorrow. Ava and Erskine are heading to the oil fields. Bellamy is checking comms in the dish, and I've arranged a meeting with someone from the order, so I'll be heading west to the church. I hope they're willing to talk to me. It's going to be a huge waste of time, money and sanity, if they don't want to open up to an outsider. Okay. Well, they were never seen again. Excerpt from anomalistic human behavior during drilling in the northeast of Scotland by, yes, while drilling into the earth, the engineers were overcome by an incomprehensible and inexplicable aura. On arrival to the base outside of Aberdeen, Scotland, the on-duty physician described the engineers as a shell of their former selves, in almost blank state. A number of causes have been considered, from the prevailing theory of radiation sickness from the exposed granite, to the many obscure theories that claim there was some form of organic material within the rock that may have had an effect on the engineers. Oh my goodness. I never play tank control games. This is... this is hard. <laughs> nice pond. Um... Is there supposed to be a glowing doorway in the rock? Okay. It won't let me interact, so... Doink. Doink. Central zone. Whoa. Um. Okay. This is... This is not disorienting at all. Do not enter without helmet. I don't have helmet, so... Shut up. Shut up. Something quarantine. Why is it easier to read when I'm moving? 40 hour quarantine required beyond this point. This is one of those boreholes. Oh! Okay. Erskine, you left the A35 unit in the control tower of the dish again. Please stop leaving this crap laying around. I'm not going to cover for you again, Bellamy. Watch videotape. Research log sample one, Dr. Thomas Erskine. Oh. This is some tissue that's been exposed to a rock sample from 12,000 feet down. Within a few minutes, it's breaking through the cell walls. Within two hours, it's almost totally taken over and begins multiplying, constantly expanding looking for a source of nourishment. Christ. After three days, any semblance of what the cells were are gone. The organism, if you can call it that, has entirely invaded the host. You sound kind of bored for somebody who's looking at something incredibly concerning. Find a replacement A35 unit. Okay, fine. There's another door. This game is not going to be done in 30 minutes. I've already been here for 15. <laughs> That's good, though. It works out. Um, sir, you have something growing out of you. What on earth? 
Excerpt from anomalistic human behavior, drilling, blah blah blah. Yes. A number of the engineers have become enamored with the caves that run under the earth here. Lots of them talk of the black iris, which appears to be the source of ionizing radiation deep in the cave. It appears that it can induce what I would compare to a religious experience in these people. I'm definitely seeing the Lovecraftian vibe so far. Like, some of these... Some of this kind of reminds me of the Deep Ones, while some other things um, make me think of the... I forget the exact name, but it's something along the lines of the color from space. Something like that. What the heck? The Order of the Void. Okay. Cool. Oh. Why is it so glowy? This is a building of some kind. Julian and Spellamy, I accidentally left the last part of your manuscript in the lockbox around the back of the cave entrance. I'll go back and get it tonight if I get the time. But if you're near there, the code is 8709. <sighs> Notepad. I'm never going to remember this. 8709. Okay. Now can I ask why there was a manuscript in a lockbox that you took to the back of a cave? Cave entrance box code found. Oh. Oh, this is cool. Dude. <laughs> wow. Play recording. Order of the Void Surveillance Volume 1, Human Sacrifice. Wait, what? Um... Um... Uh. Well... Do I want to know what's down there? Oh no. Oh no. What is this? Do not touch, please. This winch has been decommissioned so that it can be more thoroughly investigated so that I can more thoroughly investigate what the Order have done to this station and the purpose it serves in their religion. That means you too, Erskine. No vulturing parts from here. Lena. Church station decommissioned. Yay. I'm glad we had this experience. Um, why is everything super wavy? Um... What the heck? Pick up offer into the Black Iris. Offering to the Black Iris, Iris, obtained. Did I want that? Okay. Goodbye. Alright, now where? I guess the cave? Man, there's some weird stuff going on here. Complete all objectives before continuing to the cave, okay? Fine. Oh, what's this? Abandoned shacks. A copy of Roadside Picnic by Arkady and Boris Strugatsky. Something like that. In some sense, we're all cavemen. We can't imagine anything more frightening than a ghost or a vampire. But the violation of the principle of casual causality. There's a typo there. <laughs> That's actually much scarier than the whole herd of ghosts. Or Rubenstein's monsters. Or is that Wallenstein? Frankenstein. Okay.
Hey Ava, I'm topside after my first dive into the cave. It looks like the door to the deepest chamber needs some kind of key. Well, not a key, but there is a gap in the rock that looks like something needs to be placed in it to open the chamber. I think the order might have what we need. Let's start there. Thanks, Bellamy. Okay. Is that what I just picked up? Oh. Black Rock Oil Fields. Okay. Does that not seem right? Okay. Glowing purple rocks aside. What's in here? Hey Eva, this is Bellamy. I just wanted to update you on last night. Erskine has been down in the main borehole all night. Way over his four hour a day limit. Some of the guys are worried the radiation is going to make him sick. It isn't as if we haven't constantly been warning him of the dangers. Timber storage. Is there oil all over the timber storage? Okay. Um. Wait, I'm about to investigate the cabins in the oil field. I found out. I found some strange readings on the tapes that the other day, and I wanted to check it out. I'll let you know if I find anything interesting. Good luck with the church. Remember, if things turn bad, stash everything at H3. So, Lena is the one I found in the church, then. This would be Ava. Oh! Um... What the heck? Um... Uh, this is a really weird... Okay, play recording. Oil field zone tape found. Oh. Huh? Um... It stares back at me from the void. Fluctuating between shades of obsidian like a colossal black iris. Um. I have much time left now. I've given myself to the void, and the void shall show me the cosmos. Um. Okay. I hope that some oh. of you will follow. No, thank you. I'd rather not. Oh. I'm back out here all of a sudden. Oh, this is another... This is another borehole. Decommissioned station. What is that? Okay. Bye. Wait, is this a staircase? Oh, it is. In tapes to use transmitter. Okay, I'm standing on the desk. <laughs> Help. Oh, well, there's no fall damage. It's all good. 
Well, where's H3? H3 would be timber storage. Okay, maybe there was more to timber storage than I thought. Because everybody keeps saying H3. Also, that one note said to bring a lighter, and there was oil all over the logs. Maybe I'm supposed to set it on fire. Oh my goodness. Okay. <laughs> Read note. The Institute has no idea of the potential dangers to organic life in the object in the cave breaks containment. If it does. Suffice it to say that based on my own research as well as Dr. Strigatsky and Dr. Erskine's data, a breach would be a catastrophe would be catastrophic. We're all concerned that the Institute is more interested in selling access to the object to defense con contractors. It is too late for us to blow the whistle, therefore you must. Behind the cabin is a lockbox containing a data tape with our findings. The passcode is... oh gosh. Okay. 04501. Yep. Please take this tape to the satellite dish and transmit the data. It is imperative that people on the outside know what is going on. Okay. Behind the cabin. Wait a minute. Did I do it? Wait. Am I interacting with something on the other side of the wall? Yes, I am. <laughs> Oops. Data tapes found. I still don't have that part I'm supposed to be looking for, though. Insert data tapes and transmit. Data transmitted. Oh. I found the part. Got it. Okay. I think we can decommission this one now. Oh no. Please don't be anything ominous. Oh. Okay. We're good. That should be all objectives, right? Yes. So I should be able to go to the cave now. Where only happy good things will happen, I'm sure. Definitely won't be devoured by cosmic horror. Oh. Uh-huh. The black iris. Okay. Cave. Ah. Read note. Exit from, yes, the same research paper. It now seems irrefutable that the anomaly in the cave is what is causing the strange human behavior. Several of this expedition's crew members were either missing or acting increasingly erratically. Furthermore, the Institute of Divergent Sciences who sent us here seem to have little interest in what's going on. I'm starting to wonder whether we have just been used as lab rats. Well... You know, they call themselves an institute of divergent sciences. Their methods are probably going to diverge from the norm as well. Probably should have seen that coming. Oh. Well, this is a uh, kind of spooky. Okay. A torn and faded page from a novel. From deep below the Earth's crust, a being of unimaginable horrors erupted forth. 
A conduit for extraordinary forces from beyond, with no conception of order and entropy, mind and matter, life and death. Logic, science, or any other attempt to understand a being of such capriciousness and cosmic indifference is futile. Yet, they reached into the abysmal blackness before them and brought this abomination on themselves. Relinquish offering to the Black Iris. <sighs> sure, why not? Only good things can happen. Oh. Hi. Do I just walk in? This is totally normal. <sighs> Ooh. Hi. Uh-oh. Well... Um... Okay. Oh. Uh... Oh. Um... Um... I don't suppose a... Oops, my B covers this. Hey. Just in case you were curious, the events and characters are fictitious. Just in case you were curious. Okay, well, um, I may have destroyed planet Earth by feeding a cosmic horror. I do take responsibility for this. Um, alright, well, like I said, this wasn't the original plan for today's video. This one ended up a bit shorter as a result, but the first game I tried doing was just really, really gross. Like, really gross. Like, stomach churning gross. I wasn't going to put you guys through that, and I certainly didn't want to sit through it myself either, so... But this was cool. But, for now, that's going to be it for this one, so... Like and share the video if you enjoyed, subscribe if you want to see more, and take care of yourselves. Thanks for hanging out. I'll see you in the next one. See ya. A very special thank you to everybody on this list for helping this channel keep growing, and for making videos like this one possible. Your support means the world to me. Thank you so much. If you'd like to see your name on this list, all the details are in the description below. Thanks again, and I'll see you in the next one.